Hello and welcome uh, to my next tutorial. So, ito yung continuation ng web design based on MCP 2015. Uh, kung makikita nyo dito sa YouTube channel ko, uh, uh, meron akong playlist dito, okay, so which is uh, nandun yung skill design based on NSCP, so may tatlong videos to. And itong tutorial na ito, bali yung fourth video. Uh, dito kasi sa uh, yung tatlong videos na ito, purely analysis and design lang. lang. Steel structure, including steel connection. Uh, pero dito sa, uh, sa video na ito, uh, bali drawing production ang gagawin natin. Okay? So, from stand pro, sa transfer natin itong model na ito into uh, pro steel for structure posting, then we generate natin yung GA drawings, generation drawings, as well as yung detail drawings, including yung B-Lot material. Okay. Uh, dito sa video na to, uh, so, ang ginamit ko dito uh, sa AdVoice yung Select Series 6. Okay. But, ang gagamitin ko ngayon ay yung latest is sa AdPro, which is yung uh, sa AdPro Connect Edition. Okay, uh, almost the, the same uh, except doon uh, sa so naging ribonize itong uh, mga menus natin. Okay, so anyway, uh, proceed na tayo doon sa tutorial. Okay, so okay, kung pinanood nyo itong tatlong videos dito, uh, dinisign natin yung steel elements including steel connection. Uh, then, uh, dito naman, ipoproduce na natin yung drawing. Okay. So, ang gagawin ng atin dito, uh, punta ka lang dito sa file. Okay, then punta ka dito sa ISM. Okay, so click ISM. Then create repository. Okay, so magkikreate tayo ng ISM file. Okay, na pwedeng ma-read ni ProStructures, ProSteel. Okay. Okay, so, nag-re-read pa siya. Okay, so, cancel ko lang ito. Then, uh, save lang natin dito. So, steel design. Stab and steel design. So, yung stab file. Ito yung ism files. Okay, steel design.ism. So, ism.dgn file. So, just click save. Then, run natin yung conversion. Just click yes. Ayan, so may progress bar tayo dito. Kung gano'n yung progress mo. Conversion from STAD to ISM. Okay. Ayan. So i-load na nyo yung ISM file. Okay, so ito na yung ISM file. But uh, before natin i-transfer to sa ProSteel, kung pupunta ko sa STAD Pro, uh, makikita mo dito uh, segmented yung beams. So, pag kinunect mo siya ng uh, secondary beams, yung gear there magiging segmented. Okay? Okay. So, and meron ako mga offsets values dyan. Okay? Naka-offset yung uh, naka-offset yung beam. Okay? So, para maging top to top yung connection no? top to top of steel yung connection ng beam and gear gap. then pero pag uh, tinransfer mo na yan sa ISM so makikita mo naging physical member siya so one piece so may intelligence bali okay so alam niya na dapat uh, na one piece of beam yun so hindi dapat segmented Ayan. okay so one piece and pati yung offsets na capture niya. Okay, so top, of, top to top of speed. So, makikita nyo, uh, pang-rotate natin dito. Okay. Ayan, no? Ayan. So, pati yung offsets na capture doon sa ISM. Okay, so, select all lang natin yan. Then, click accept. Then, click update. Then, just click OK. Okay, so 85% na progress. Kaya natin mag-warm. Okay, so tapos na. Click OK. Ayan. 
yeah, so na-transfer na natin yung stud uh, 2RS and 5. So, i-close ko lang to. Then, i-open ko na yung Pro Structures. So, Pro Structures is composed of Pro Seed and Pro Concrete. Okay, pero ang name ng application is Pro Structures. Okay, uh, click new. Uh, okay, uh, ito yung uh, project folder natin. Pagawa uh, so tayo ng folder dito. So, new folder. Let's say, uh, pro structure model. Okay. So still, uh, ang name natin, ng, ang project name natin is still, okay. Uh, let's say still design project. Okay. Click save. Uh, Saan na punta yan? Okay. Okay, so that's it. So open lang natin yan. Click open. Okay, so okay, so blank model ito ng uh, row structures. Okay, so blank model ito. Uh, set up ko lang yung tanggal ko yung grid, tsaka change ko yung background. Okay, so ngayon dadali natin yung ISM file dito. Uh, Nagaling sa stat. So punta ko lang dito sa row structures, then uh, uh, click mo lang to ISM create deposit. Ah, no, no, no. At this one, ito, ito. Yung dapat itong new from repository. Asal ko lang to. So, ito dapat yung second. New from repository. Then, pupunin natin yung uh, yung itong ISM file na kinrate natin from stud. So, December 20, 7.25pm. Okay. Just 2 minutes ago. Then, click open. Then, click lang yung check. Okay, yun. Yun, so data was imported successfully. So yun, so ito na yung uh, model natin from start row. So makikita nyo, okay, physical member, physical element. Okay, so hindi na siya segmented. Kung babalikan natin yung start, so makikita nyo rito sa segmented. Okay. Yeah, so then punta tayo sa pro structures. So then, uh, meron lang ako kailangan ng konting uh, settings na kailangan gawin. Okay. Select ko lang itong mga beams na ito. Uh, PS properties. Uh, set up ito sa beam. Then data. Assign ko lang yung strength ng uh, yung yield strength ng member so 275 and also so columns uh, ps properties uh, 275jr then assignment column okay so that's it then lagyan na natin ito ng work frame okay lagyan natin ito ng work frame or uh, or grid lines okay okay so yun na yung uh, work frame natin okay so yung work frame importante yan para mag view natin yung any elevation na gusto natin dun sa structure so let's say kung gusto mong i-view yung elevation B so i-click mo lang to then click mo lang to then oops so medyo may shadow kasi pwede natin i-change yan into illustration lang. So, palang shadow. So, yan yung elevation B. Okay. Then, kung gusto mong i-view ulit yung buong isometric. Yung buong, yung whole structure. So, yan. Okay. Then, kung gusto mong i-view yung, let's say, yung uh, 4 meter 
elevation 4 meter. So, click mo lang to. Ayan. So, ito yung plan. Then, i-view ulit natin lahat. Okay. So, ngayon, uh, pagkatapos nito, uh, pwede, uh, pwede mo na itong lagyan ng connections. Okay. So, let's say, uh, shear connection yung design natin dito. Uh, pro steel. Then, uh, shear connection. So, click mo to. Click mo to. Ayan. So, ayun na yung shear connection mo. Then, controllable ito. No? So, parametric. So, let's say, uh, kung gusto mong damihan yung number of bolts, so, depende sa uh, number. Okay. So, ayun. Kung gusto mong damihan, but, uh, pero hindi kasya. So, it's yung okay na yung tree dito. Then, kung gusto mong i-change yung uh, bolt spacing, let's say, 100. Ayan. And, yung edge distances, kung gusto mo siyang liitan. Okay. Ayan. So, and kung gusto mo rin i-change yung thickness ng plate. Okay. So, pwede rin. Ayan. So, depende sa design mo sa RAM connection. Okay. Uh, kung ano yung dinesign mo sa RAM connection, then ang gagawin mo is i-apply mo lang dito sa pro steel. Okay? So, yun yung sample ng uh, shear connection. Then, kung para sa moment connection naman, uh, ito, let's say, end plate. Click mo to. Click mo to. Ayan. So, yun yung sample ng end plate connection. So, parametric din yan. Uh, andito yung mga controls. Okay, so yun yung mga controls kung gusto mo lagyan ng stiffeners. So, okay. Then, i-change mo yung bolt diameter, weld size, and plate uh, thickness. Bolt diameter, bolt spacing. So, nandito lang. Lahat dyan. Okay, pero pag uh, na-setup mo na uh, okay, pag na-setup mo na lahat yung, let's say, yung standard connections mo, may mas pabilis na paraan para ma-apply mo yung connections sa uh, buong structure. Okay. So, meron kasing uh, auto-connection generator si ProSteel. So, makikita nyo kung pa isa-isa yan, malamang baka buhutin ka ng mga 3 to 4 hours or maybe more than pa. Para isa-isa yun yung joint, then apply mo yung connection. Pero pag niran mo yung uh, auto-connection, so let's say ito. Then, click all. Click OK. Yan. So, nag-run na yan. Ayan, so makita nyo dito, end plate, nag-model yung dalawang end plate doon, then shear plate, dalawang shear plate. Naging 4, and end plate also 4. Okay, makita nyo yung results nyan. Uh, makita nyo yung results nyan later. Okay, so it will take 2 minutes siguro para mag-apply. <coughs> para mag-apply yung, yung lahat ng connection. Okay. Shear plate 22 and plate 10. Okay, so 53 seconds na. 58 seconds. Uh, so, mo na sa 60% na tayo. Okay, uh, 20 end plate, and 32 shear plate. So base plate, uh, separate natin gagawin yan. Okay, separate uh, generator. Okay. Okay, that's it. So, one and a half minute. Click OK. So, kung makikita nyo, ayun, so nag-model lahat ng uh, connection. Ayan, so, yun yung purpose ng auto-connection. Okay, so, in just two minutes, uh, mag maglalagay siya lahat ng connection. Okay, so, how about yung base plate? Kailangan natin ng base plate dito. So, i-run natin yung, uh, yung auto-connection generator natin. So, base plate. 
Then click lang tayo ng reference point. Check. Click OK. Ayan, yun yung base plate. Ayan, so 8, 8 base plates. So, kasi 8 yung columns natin. So, yun yung mga base plates natin. Okay? So, after nyan, uh, ready na natin i-produce yung uh, bill of materials at yung drawing. So, first, kailangan natin gumawa ng positioning or numbering. That's a post structures. Delete natin. Then, i-run natin yung numbering. Okay. Okay. So, that's it. So, tapos na yung numbering. So, ngayon, uh, kunin natin yung quantities no ng project no. So, yung quantities nito hindi lang limited doon sa elements. So, pati yung mga connecting elements na yan, yung mga maliliit na plate na yan, even yung number of bolts kayang i-quantify nung program. Okay, as long as na may nodel mo siya on 3D, ah uh, pag in-extract mo yung bill of materials, mag-appear doon yan. Okay, so dalawang way 'yon. Is ah uh, first uh, yung unang ah uh, way is pwede mo siya extract through drawing and yung second is through report okay so anyway ito yung pag extract ng uh, ng bio ng bill of materials kung gusto mo yung form of a drawing so punta ka lang dito for structures part list then drawing part list then choose all then pick ka lang anywhere kung saan mo gusto mo drawing yung uh, bill of materials mo yun that's it click check ayan so, bill of materials na yan. So, makikita mo. Bill of materials. And, ito yung part. Okay. So, universal column. Ito yung mga connecting plates na naka-attach doon. Okay. So, and may pati yung mga bolts. Pag nakita mo dito. So, ito. Uh, ito yung bolts na M20. Then, length is 55 mm. Okay yung mga bolts na ginamit uh, ito, yan yung bolts so, so lahat so yung lahat ng uh, naka, yung lahat ng minodel mo dito sa sa, sa 3D so mag dito sa bill of material so makikita mo doon sa total weight ay is around 26 tons okay, para dito sa project na to. okay okay, so yung other way naman ng uh, pag-extract ng bill of material is through, uh, through a report. Okay, so punta ka lang dito sa post structures, then uh, part list, then click mo yung part list, then open lang natin to. Okay. Open. Then punta ko sa delivery, then uh, select, let's say, single part list, then may mga templates available na dito open then click start ayan so ito na yung uh, yung yung, quant yung total quantities na kailangan mo dun sa project so, so makikita mo 26 tons dito to dito may may total area pa siya uh, let's say kung kailangan mo sa kung kailangan mo yung paint area okay so zoom natin ayan so editable itong tem it editable ito no itong itong uh, title block okay, para sa report and pwede mo rin ilagay yung company logo mo rito okay. uh, kung meron man so madali lang itong i-customize and yun so ito yung report na i-generate okay. ito yung, yung bill of materials na i-generate okay, through report type okay so, close ko lang to and that's it okay so, kung meron ka ng bill of materials, uh, i-produce naman natin yung drawings. Okay? So, pag-produce naman ng drawings, unahin natin yung, yung general arrangement drawing. Then, pupunta tayo sa fabrication drawing. So, punta tayo dito sa uh, to Detail Center Express sa uh, project. Uh, okay? Pagyan na lang natin ito ng steel design project. Then, pwede nyo i-populate itong mga details dito related to project. So, gagamitin ko lang itong 
Okay, yung nandito. Then, export data. Okay, uh, siguro mark by JP, let's say. Yung initial nyo. Uh, check. And, okay. Let's say, boss. Then, lagay na lang yung date today, which is 20 December 27. Pwede naman natin i-copy and paste lang yun. So, control c control b control b And so, project 2018-01, then that's it. Export, then click check. Ayan, click check. Then, produce natin yung sa general arrangement drawing. So, click ko lang to. Open detail center express. Then, uh, may mga template available na ako dito. So, view. Then, uh, itong gamitin natin. Uh, optimize the size. Okay. So, click. Then, run. Set. Okay. Yan. So, nag-run na yung uh, drawing generation niya. So, may progress bar din tayo dito. Okay. So, uh, nag-optimize yung uh, program para i-choose nyo yung best uh, paper size dun sa, sa drawing na ma-generate. Okay. So, depende kasi sa, sa scale. Eh. Uh, depende rin sa size ng project mo. Pero yung program merong intelligence na pumili ng right paper size based sa size ng project. Okay, so makikita nyo mamaya. Okay, so okay, in progress pa rin yung drawing generation. Elevation tree, yun yung generate na niya. Ngayon yung plan, kasi Z4000. So, search best format size. Okay, so yung elevation 7400 na yung generic niyang drawing na yun. Okay, so anchor ball plan generic ang gine-generate nyo ngayon. Okay, pati yung mga isometric view.
Ang tagal niya i-generate ng isometric view. Ah. Ayan. Okay. So, completed na. So, click OK. Then, close na natin to. <coughs> so, my, ngayon, uh, nandito na yung uh, mga drawing na generate na. So, ito na yung anchor board plan. Ito na yung plan natin. Uh, set up na natin to sa uh, okay. so, transpire frame. Ayan. So, Okay, anchor bolt plan. Okay, so makikita nyo dito, anchor bolt plan. So, nag-select yung mga columns. Then, kung chinect ko naman itong Z, so, nag-highlight yung uh, level 4 meter. So, select ko naman itong 7400, so, nag-highlight yung, yung elevation na yan. And then, uh, kung elevation B naman, ayan, so, nag-highlight. Okay, so, let's say, open natin yung anchor bolts plan. Okay, so, click natin to. Open 2D drawing. Ayan. So, ito na yung anchor bolts plan. Okay, so, yung template, pwede nyo itong i- uh, pwede nyo itong uh, i- so, as you can see, yung kanina, so, nakita nyo yung mga details na in-input natin. So, ito yung name na nilagay natin kanina, pati yung project name. So, itong template na ko-customize. So, so they, kung meron kayong standard uh, title block, so pwede mo siyang key in sa program, then gamitin niya sa pag-generate ng 2D drawing. So, so, ito na yung anchor board plan. Okay, so anything na i-change mo dun sa 3D model, uh, mag-change din dito accordingly. Okay. yung anchor bolt plan then uh, open natin yung let's say yung elevation 4 meter so view so ito let's say yung plan elevation sa 4 I mean yung plan sa 4 meter open 2D drawing yeah so ito yung uh, ito na yung uh, plan na yun. Okay, so scale 1 is to 50. So, ayan, makikita nyo. So, automatic yung mga dimensioning niya sa mga secondary beams. Okay. Uh, then, yun yung mga beam names niya. Okay. Beam names. So, uh, from stad to, no? And, as simple as that, uh, mag- Kung meron kang pro structures, mag-generate mo yung drawing ng ganun kabilis from start. Pati yung bill of materials. So, ganun kabilis. Kung nag-estimate ka, uh, napakabilis lang ng quantity take off. Okay? So, how about kung magbukas tayo ng isang elevation drawing? Okay. So, let's say yung elevation B. Okay. Baka natin yung elevation B. Uh, open to the drawing. Ayan. So, ito yung elevation B drawing. Ayan. So, kung makikita nyo. So, nandun yung mga beam names and yung dimensions. <coughs> so, automatically. Okay? Ayan. So, after nito, uh, yung publication drawings naman yun i-generate natin. So, and, okay. So, hindi ko na binuksan lahat ng, ng view doon sa project. No? Uh, kasi, pa, pareho lang din naman ng idea. Eh. So, pwede mong, ah, uh, okay. So, siguro, try natin i-change, mag-change something doon sa 3D and tingnan natin kung mag-change yung, ah, uh, <coughs> yung drawing na mag-generate, no? Okay. Uh, anyway, tingnan natin. So, let's say, maglagay ako ng beam dito, let's say. Oops. Uh, standard. Let's say, uh, okay, American section ito eh. So anyway, ito na lang. W sections. Tapang W sections dito. So, yung, so 360, let's say. Then, maglagay tayo dito. Let's say dito. Punta doon. Ayan. So, doon. Okay. Then, update 
natin yung drawing okay so update natin to <coughs> update to the drawing okay so naga update siya Okay, and then click, let's say, open to the drawing. Ayan, so makikita nyo, nung nag-add ako ng beam dun sa 3D model, so nag-change din yung uh, to the drawing accordingly. So, ayan, so anything na i-change mo dun sa 3D, then it produce mo yung 2D drawing, so mag appear yung changes din. Yung mag appear yung changes accordingly. Okay, so anyway, i-delete ko na lang to hindi yan kasama sa uh, project natin. So, ngayon, i-produce naman natin yung publication drawing. Okay? So, punta lang ulit tayo dito sa Detail Center Express. Then, dito na tayo sa Group Drawing. Okay? Uh, double click. Then, run natin. Okay. Ayan. So, so ganun din. Uh, depende dun sa length ng element mo, uh, i-optimize nyo yung size ng paper. Ayan. So, nag-generate na ng uh, publication drawing yan. So, makikita nyo siya later. Okay, uh, medyo marami rin kasi yung elements eh. Kaya medyo matagal mag-generate. Anyway, pwede kang mag-generate ng drawings yung selected elements lang. Uh, yung ginawa ko kasi para sa lahat eh. Okay, kaya medyo matagal yung generation. So, hindi ko na siya i-aando na lang. Uh, hayaan ko na lang na i-generate niya lahat ng publication drawings para sa lahat ng elements. Okay, so dapat uh, sinelect ko na lang yung elements na gusto natin i-produce na uh, 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 publication drawing para medyo mabilis. So anyway, uh, keep na lang natin as it is. Para makapamili rin tayo ng, uh, <coughs> ng magandang publication drawing na extract natin.
Okay, still in progress. So, ang paro sa lahat ng elements. So, kaya medyo matagal. Lapit na. Okay. Okay. Check. Okay. So, tapos na. Yung drawing generation. So, Punta mo dito sa group. So, let's say, check na rin ito. Ayan, yung column na yun. Nag-color rin siya. Ayan. So, kung gusto mo extract yung drawing na ito or review, so, right click mo lang ito. Then, punta ko dito sa open to the drawing. Ayan. So, sa makikita nyo, very detailed yung drawing. So, actually, publication drawing na yan. So, ito yung containment list niya. Okay, so lahat ng kailangan mong materials para may build mo itong uh, column na to. So, nandyan. Okay, listed dyan. Okay, so, 1.4 tons yung isang pirasong column. And so, yan yung mga dimensions, running dimensions, then, uh, bold diameters. Okay, so nandyan din. Kasama yung mga measurements niya, okay, uh, distances niya from edges, okay, yeah, yun yung sample ng uh, column publication drawing, then uh, check naman natin yung sample ng uh, beam drawing, Okay, so ito siguro mas okay ito. Gusto ko kasi itong position 8 sa ito. Okay. Ah, okay. So 8A. Ayan. So itong beam na ito, yung maraming attachment, maraming connection. So right click. Open to the drawing. Ayan. So ito yung sample drawing para sa beam na yan. Okay. So ito yung and and play drawing niya nandoon yung mga distances ng hole okay yun then also yung uh, okay itong dimensions naman doon ay 60 tapos ito ah uh, okay 
Okay, so pwede ka rin mag uh, gawa ng dimension mo dito actually. Mag-add ng dimension mo. Okay. Okay, so let's say Okay, so something like that. Okay. Ayan. Then try natin yung ibang drawing. Uh, okay. Uh, check natin tong yung slanted na to na beam. Okay, slanted na beam. Ano ba to? Uh, position 7. So, ito. 7A. Okay. Click open to the drawing. Ayan. So, ito yung drawing generated. Yan yung end plate drawing niya. Okay. Ayan. So, ito yung contained niya, yung contained niya drawing niya, bill of materials. So, lahat ng uh, <clears throat> yung section, pati yung plate na kakailanganin mo para magbuo mo itong beam na to. Okay. Okay, so uh, uh, this concludes the tutorial and uh, see you for more videos.